Hey guys, this is Donna. I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, tonight, I want to talk to you guys about a subject that has kind of got me a little bit irritated and I do not believe that it's fair. Um, PBS did a rerun of a show that they had on a few years ago and it dealt with uh, farmers uh, not being able to save their seeds and replant the next year. Instead, they're forced to have to buy from uh, a seed uh, manufacturer or whatever. And the reason why they have to do that is because um, thanks to some people in uh, the Supreme uh, Court, uh, I believe Clarence Thomas is one of the little sneaky devils uh, who allowed this uh, to go this law to come into effect and the law deals with being able to patent uh, living things, uh, being able to patent life and what it is is these seed manufacturers can take seeds uh, that have been around for you know ever and they can modify one thing, one thing about the uh, genetic code of the seed and uh, therefore, since they did that, they can patent it and make uh, the farmers have to buy it every year. And they're not allowed to keep it. They're not allowed to reuse it. They have to buy new seeds every year and in order to, you know, run their farms and, you know, make a living. Therefore, it kind of um, limits profit to the farmer. Don't get me wrong. You know, I believe that everyone should be able to protect their product. Like you create a product, you should be able to protect it and keep it from being copied or used without, you know, your permission, things like that. Or at least certain things should be that way. But here's what I have a problem with. Somehow or another, the system has gotten rid of seeds you know, just natural seeds that are out there that have, like, you know, been around forever, they've done away with them. And they've made it to where the only people who have access to these seeds are the seed manufacturers. Uh, and therefore, they, they've taken these seeds and they've changed them and therefore they, they're forcing their customers to have to buy those seeds from them. That part I don't agree with. I feel like... Uh, the other seeds should still be available to the farmers. If they choose to use those seeds or if they choose to uh, use these modified seeds, you know, I feel like that should be up to them. I, I just don't agree with it. Now, some of you may totally disagree with that. I don't know, but that's just how I feel about it. I think that it's wrong um, because I think nature's nature. And I just I don't agree with the whole idea of being able to patent nature. Uh, just like I don't agree with the whole idea of a drug company being able to uh, patent certain things in drugs or certain genes, human genes. These drug companies can patent human genes, and therefore they can stop research and uh, uh, sale of uh, certain other drugs and products that will actually help people because they've got the block on it, and therefore they don't allow that to happen and I think that's wrong uh, because just think of what could happen if uh, you know companies that actually wanted to help people and actually wanted to put a good product out there to help people uh, they're not allowed to do that because these companies have jumped in there and thrown patents on this stuff and made it to where they cannot do that I think that's evil and I just I think it's wrong I think that that should not be allowed I think that the Supreme Court needs to go back. First of all, we need to get some good people on the Supreme Court, not the scumbags that are there. And that's just how I feel about the Supreme Court. I'm sorry. That's my view on the Supreme Court. Because I feel like all they've done is taken away people's rights more and more every year. But that's in the whole new soapbox, whatever. But I'm just stating that they need to do some reviews and really, really think about the fact of what they've allowed to happen uh, due to these laws. They've allowed these companies to come in and dictate uh, what can and cannot be done. Uh, they've allowed these companies to dictate progress. They've, they've allowed these companies to dictate what we eat, uh, how much 
is allowed uh, to be made by farmers. They, they, you know, they're. It's like farmers are only allowed to make so much. I mean, because the more they're allowed to make, then the more they have to pay. So it doesn't really balance out for the farmer. They're kind of, in my opinion, screwed because they're stuck in the middle and they're forced to have to do something like that. Um, I just, I don't think that it's fair. Um, but I guess the question that I want to ask. Uh, you people out there, is how do you feel about companies being able to patent life and uh, certain drugs and certain things uh, that can really affect everyone, uh, that has like a negative effect. Um, like I said, I disagree with the whole idea of patenting life and being able to modify it and therefore putting a monopoly on the sale of that or research of that. I don't agree with that. Now, certain products I don't have a problem with as long as it's not, is it, if it doesn't interfere with progress of uh, research or helping people in the future, and, you know, things that are important to human life and being able to save a life or being able to, you know, to provide food and, and you know, things for the world that we need. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm just, I know I'm just going to keep rambling, so I'm going to ahead and stop it right here. Um, but I hope everyone has had a good day. Bye-bye.